nothing but cute. All right, well, from the ground, it looks like your average building from the sky. This Navy complex forms the shape of a swastika. Now, a whole lot of controversy has been building up after people started spotting this symbol of hate on Google Earth. The U.S. Navy, who owns the building, says it will spend more than a half a million dollars to obscure the image. Dave Von Kleist is the co-host of the Power Hour and has been championing this cause since, uh, since the middle of last year. Is that right? Well, that's right, Lori. That's not just me. I'm just the messenger. I'm the person who happened to ring the bell. In this particular situation, our listeners and many people all over the country actually came out of their homes to answer the call. It's not unlike what's going on right now with the Ron Paul revolution. People from all walks of life uh, became alarmed when they saw this and responded. Okay. But let me point out, and I'm just playing devil, devil's advocate with you uh, here. The thing was built 40 years ago. The builders say it was not intentional. You can't even see it unless you happen to be on Google Earth. So what's the big deal? Well, I find it very difficult, and a lot of the other people that have seen this find it difficult to accept the idea that they didn't look at the blueprint or the artist uh, renditions or the architectural drawings. Symbolism pay plays a very large role in our society. It sends a, a, a very quiet message to other people who are aware of the symbols. And in this particular case, we're talking about a symbol that represents uh, a, a regime that would lie to its own people, yeah. burn its own buildings, blame innocent people, uh, take their own citizens' rights. Right. and then launch a war based upon lies and fraud and commit genocide no, on millions of people. There's no doubt that this is a very troubling thing, and when you see it, it is so clear. It can't be any clearer than that. Now, the Navy, no, the Navy is promising to spend $600,000 on this. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what they're planning to do to try to obscure the image? Well, according to the Los Angeles Times story, uh, they're going to put up uh, uh, solar panels and make some, uh, some other landscape changes, et cetera, et cetera, maybe add a couple things. I don't know what they're going to do structurally. The, the issue is, is that this structure has been there for, as you mentioned, uh, nearly 40 years. Uh, the question is, why was it built to look like this from the sky in the first place? I mean, this is only 22 years after the end of the Second World War. The memories were very clear in America's minds at that particular time. And for anyone to build a structure, and like I would mentioned before, not notice the architectural drawings or the blueprints, I mean, to say that we didn't realize what it looked like until it was half finished is a very lame excuse. We simply want to know why this message was being sent uh, along their certain uh, quiet private circles. Well, lame or not, the Navy is taking care of it. Um, we'd love to have you back on again after they obscure it and see what your reaction is then. Uh, I'd love to be back. Thank you for the invitation. Okay, Dave Von Kleist with the Power Hour in Jefferson City, Missouri. Thanks very much. Thank you, Lori. And that is going to do it for.